As you watch this overview, I would encourage you to open up your own Google document so you can participate and make math and STEM objects along with me. Please visit docs.google.com and open your own blank document. Then, simply go up to your Chrome extensions and open up Equatio. Click on the blue diamond and you will see your toolbar open up at the bottom. It should overlay on top of your Google document. Before we go over all these input methods in the product, I'd like to first go through the menu. Click on the blue Equatio menu box in the left corner of the toolbar and then select Options. This should open up a box and display which version of Equatio you are running, and it will also list how long your license is valid for. Under Math Options, you will notice that you have many different choices to make. The default font setting is set to Regular. However, if you're an instructor standing at the board, you may want to change your font size for students sitting in the back of your classroom. Select the drop-down box and pick the choice that suits you best. Under Language, we provide localization in English for United States, English for the UK, Spanish, and French. It is best to leave your speech engine set to automatic. I would encourage you to make sure you have toggled on all of your prediction items before we begin. Select Toolbar Options. Here you can customize your toolbar by turning off certain input methods. If over time, for example, you find yourself never needing the speech input method, this is the place that you will return to in order to remove it from your toolbar. The next option is your Chrome Options. The default setting here is set to Automatic which is your speed option. This will insert math at a higher rate of speed than obviously your quality option. However, if your preference is for your math to be inserted at the best picture quality available, then please toggle your setting to quality. This is also a great place to go if Google Docs undergoes an update and all of a sudden your math in Equatio will not insert. Changing your input method here may repair Equatio until we at TextHelp can push out an update by our development team. In other words, it's a great backup plan we have incorporated into our product. The Profile tab will display your logon credentials that TextHelp is using to validate your subscription. Many users log into their computer with multiple Chrome accounts and this tab will display the Chrome profile being used with Equatio. Last but not least, the About section will display the current version of Equatio that you are using. Go ahead and close this box when you are done checking your options. Return to the menu. The Help and Support button will redirect our users to the support page. Click on Contact Us in the upper right corner to reach out directly to our IT support team. The next option in your menu is the Send Feedback button. This often gets mistaken for technical support. The feedback form is for our customers to give us suggestions as to formulas they would like to see added or maybe new shapes that would help in the classroom. Feedback helps drive the roadmap, so please keep your great suggestions coming. Fill out the Google form to speak directly to myself and our development team, and we will gladly listen to your suggestions on how you would like to see the product evolve and help you in the classroom. The fourth button on the menu introduces you to the Equatio Math Space. It is one of my favorite pieces of Equatio, but it is a piece of our product that stands alone as its own web app. You can get to Equatio Math Space, the web app, 
by visiting equatio.texthelp.com. I look forward to showing it to you later on in the demo. The last selection in the menu is if you want to close the toolbar in its entirety. Simply select the menu button and then close Equatio. Now that the menu has been covered, let's go ahead and get started by checking out our first input method, which is your equation editor.